Right, so this is a quick demo to show you how to create calculated fields and have them update in the UI automatically without you doing much. So first we'll create a calculated field. Um, we have the salary field here and the commission percent field. Those are in the employee table, uh, the regular Oracle demo. So we're going to create a new attribute. Um, we'll call it uh, total sal. Okay. And this is going to be based on an expression. Um, if you click the little pencil icon here, you can insert a groovy expression. Um, instead of boring you with actually coding it, I just paste it here. You can look up in my blog to actually see the text of this. But basically, if the commission percent is not null, we're returning the salary times uh, whatever the commission is. Uh, otherwise, we're just returning the salary. Now the nice thing here is that you have this ability to say this calculation depends on uh, fields, so specifically the salary field and also uh, the commission percent field. So we're going to shuttle both of them to the right. I'll show you that when you do this you're actually defining things in this tab, the dependency tab, so those two fields are here. So if you're doing something that is not being done through this expression editor with a the pencil there, you can also do the same dependency definition here directly. So if you have like another calculated field that is based on a literal value or a SQL or something like that. So once you define this dependency, um, your field is going to update automatically. Let's save everything and compile here. And initially we'll just refresh our ADFBC tester just to make sure that our calculated field works so you can see that if there's no commission percent you get here the same value. If we do a quick query uh, just to find people who actually have commission like that, you can now see that the result here is basically a um, combination of those aspects together. Okay, So we know the basic calculation on our model layer, ADFBC layer, works. Now we can go over and um, create our page. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop over our employees, put them on the page as a form. And we're going to add a submit button and click OK. And now we can actually run our page. I'll probably want to save. So when our page comes up now, if you just go over and you do like a dot three over here and leave the field, um, the total is not going to update. What you need to do is you need to actually tell this field to automatically uh, send an update a request to the server to get the value back. So you go back into your page, commission percent field, you look up a property called auto submit over here, and you set it to two. This means that when you leave the field, we're actually submitting a request to the server. You can save everything, rebuild your project, go back to your browser, and reload your page. Okay? And now if you actually go into the commission percent and you just type dot two and you leave the field, you can see the value being updated down here. Same thing would work, by the way, if you change uh, the salary here and, for example, put something like that. Oh, uh, you actually need uh, how to submit on this field. So go over to this field and do how to submit here as well. Okay, save, rebuild, go back to your browser and reload your page. All right, and now whether you're changing this field or changing this field, you can see the value changing automatically. And now that you didn't need to actually define partial page refresh between the fields, okay? So you didn't need to say this field depends on this field and that field. And the reason is because you define this dependency in the ADFBC layer. Beyond that, if you actually look at the binding for your page, okay, and you look over here, you'll see um, over here in the advanced section change event policy is set to PPR. This is actually what enables us to automatically when there's a change on the server PPR the specific field in your UI and get it to update. 
So that's it. That's basically how you can eliminate a lot of your partial page rendering in newer versions of JDeveloper.